I discovered a way to clean copper that's even better than the 551 solution. Let's go. I saw a video where Prohibition 1920 was cleaning his steel with star sand. Now, I've been familiar with star sand for a long time as a product that is great for sanitizing your equipment. Beer brewers and wine users specifically use this regularly. I had no idea that it would clean copper though. If it does as good of a job as the 551 solution, which I've used for years, uh, and I learned from uh, George Duncan over at Barley and Hops, if it works as good as 551, then it has more pros than 551. But first, let me go over star sand, just in case you're not familiar with it. This is star sand. Uh, maybe I'll put a little graphic up or something. Um, and this is this bottle is half empty and it's probably like three years old, still works. Um, now, whether it's going to clean copper, we'll soon find out. But this stuff is like $24 for a 16 ounce bottle. But what's great about it is it's concentrated. So it's got this little fill uh, measuring uh, chamber right here, it measures out a half ounce or one ounce. One ounce will make five gallons of cleanser. So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna try and clean this still with five gallons of cleanser made with this three-year-old star sand. And we're gonna see how well it works. Now I'm mixing up five gallons here and it's probably more than what I need. I could probably do with half of this. Um, but five gallons is what I'm doing. And for five gallons, you mix up a whole ounce. So I just fill this up to the one ounce mark, drop it in, and then stir it up. Stir it up real good. It'll get sudsy. And then I'm just going to use this rag and wipe everything down, see how it goes. And I brought this all outside because, you know, it's going to be messy. So. cover this and uh, I'm gonna take this thermometer out I'm just gonna let this soak in here while I do this see if that makes a difference but um, yeah this is uh, you I mean you can all I don't know if you can see on the video but I mean it's cleaning up pretty quick When I'm done cleaning these up at the end of the video, I'm going to go over the what I think are the upsides and the downsides to using star sand to clean your copper with. I think one of them will be surprising. I compared the costs between using the 551 solution and using the star sand and I'll go over those numbers with you here at the end of the video when I'm done cleaning it up. Now I've been on this now for about, I don't know, four minutes. Cleans up pretty quick. There are some spots that you know, don't want to come up, don't want to come real clean, but you know, you run into that problem with the 551 also.
as you can see, uh, this worked every bit as well as 551 does. Uh, the cleaning process was about the same. Takes a little bit of, uh, you know, elbow grease. If, um, like for example, you, you can't just soak this because I didn't have a tub big enough. Now, you know, if I had like a 55 gallon drum and I wanted to make 30 gallons of um, the star sand mixture, I could just submerge these and just let them soak for you know, 30 minutes or so, pull them out, they'd probably be be good. Um, which is doable with the star sand because it is a concentrate one ounce to five gallons. So if you wanted to make a 50 gallon batch, it's only gonna take 10 ounces of the uh, star sand. So you could theoretically do it that way. Now I didn't do it. I, I mixed it up in a 7.9 gallon bucket. So I couldn't just submerge these. So it did take a little bit of elbow grease. Took me about, I don't know, 20 minutes to get it to this point. So works very well. So what are what's the advantage of a 551? I think really there's only one advantage to the 551. The 551 is ingredients that you could have around the house you know the hydrogen peroxide and the the citric acid those are things that some people might have, you know almost everybody's going to have the um hydrogen peroxide and a lot of people have citric acid you know if you do canning supplies things like that so you could just make that from around the house that is an advantage um but i think all the other advantages go to the star sand so the star sand it is more convenient and when I the reason I say that is you don't have to rinse it off like this I just wiped this off with a dry towel after I washed it no rinsing needed um, the star sand is meant to be a no rinse sanitizer and so it's also a no rinse copper cleaner apparently and so that's one number two is I don't have to wear any gloves or anything like that. Like I, I would normally wear gloves with a hydrogen peroxide citric acid uh, method. If I was doing this much cleaning, you know, I'd put some gloves on. Don't have to do that with star sand. The third one is the big one, I think, and it's cost. The star sand is cheaper. Now that I don't have it around, but that six ounce bottle it's expensive in the sense that it's $24 for 16 ounce uh, bottle, which seems expensive, but when you consider it only takes one ounce to make five gallons, you get 80 gallons. That drops the cost down to like 30 cents per gallon. With the 551, if you're paying a dollar fifty for a 32 ounce deal of hydrogen peroxide and you're paying 75 cents for an ounce of citric acid, five gallons is going to cost you around two dollars and seventy ish cents so um, it's eight times cheaper to use the star sand and you can get star sand at any brew shop you can get star sand at amazon uh, we sell star sand on still in the clear .com. so you know it's it's easily readily available you probably can't get it in grocery stores and things like that but you can certainly offer it on you can certainly get it online and i'll put a link up here or down in the show notes to the still in the clear brand it's like i said it's like 24 dollars for a 16 ounce bottle it makes 80 gallons it's cheaper than the 551. so if you're not familiar with the 551 solution i do have a video for it and i'll put it right here you can click on it and watch the 551. Um, youtube thinks you'll like this video so choose one see you next time